Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video to the channel. So today is Friday, which only means one thing. It is time for some Market Watch. So there was some big news in the content updates, and that was that a bonus XP is going to be coming on May 17th. Whether that's had enough time to have a real big effect in the market, not quite sure. But we have started to see a couple of skill items go up, and maybe some, maybe some people predicted early that we'd get an early bonus XP. But also, we are quite on trend for another bonus XP anyway. So in terms of updates this week, we've got the release or the pre-release of a new quest on Monday, the Requiem for a Dragon, for the Infrey quest. And we've also been giving some information on the May and June content. Now, if you haven't seen the video I did on the May and June content and the new quest as well, I'll make sure to put it in the corner of the video. But let's get started going through the RuneScape Free Grand Exchange price rises and price falls for Market Watch this week. We're very close to one year of episodes now, so thank you all for tuning in and making this one of the best series on my channel. But let's get started to see if there's anything worthwhile in this week's rises. So continuing the trend, Ashes are up now just under 1500 GP. It's still a really good price there. Fragile Memento just under 2k now. Pretty good there. Again, Mementos are weird, but uh, there is a little bit of a moneymaker with transmuting them. So maybe we could look into that. Bone Rune on its way up, 697 GP each. Still got its place in runecrafting, I think, and something still pretty decent. Power Flower Basket is now 40 mil, and some Captain Deathbeard have gone up as well. Teak Plank, 456. Again, still pretty cheap for the kind of uh, construction XP will give you. Seeds on its way up, Dwarf and Irrit, and Vibrant and Pale Energy are up. Vibrant Energy at 557 is actually a really good price and a pretty solid price for energy. That might be actually worth looking into if you've got the ability to convert all of your memories at once into the energy with the Archaeology Relic. Great Supplement School for 2.6. I can see this and some other like Necromancy items going really high. The Great Supplement School just means you have to attend to your ritual areas less and ritual materials less, so that will go up. An Uncut Moonstone now is 1.7 mil. Slayer Wildcards, 47.2k. Again, I can see these going up. People actually do Slayer on a bonus XP. Don't know why, because it's my favourite skill, but it is what it is. But with that, they can choose what tasks they actually do for the XP as well. Decorated Mining Lands, 10.2k, and things like Urns, Portable Wells, all these skilling buffs are going to be going up for the bonus XP anyway, so they are already pretty high. 10k is about the price for an Urn, um, and I do sort of struggle to see it going any real higher than that, but you never know. Iron Bar, 2.3k, good one for the non-members. A Raw Poi Meat is 1.4k as well. Water Runes, 53 GP each, nice little increase there. Again, nowhere near the heights you were probably a year or two ago, but still nice to see them up. Powerful Ghost Ink, just under 10k now, and Flesh Rune is just under 1,000 coins, which is, again, nice to see the Necromancy Runes coming back up. Ascension Shard, now someone has been mentioning this in my comments for a couple of videos. Ascension Shards and Ascension Bolts are just slowly, slowly, slowly going up quite considerably. I mean, if you looked at their overall, they're just going up and up and up, so... Maybe something we keep an eye on, because I always thought you got multiple bolts per shard. It's actually only one, so really interesting there. Magic and U composite bows on the way up. Again, they're always going to, because for, sort of fortunate components couldn't be that cheap. Papaya, 9.3k for that. Pretty nice. Artisanal gears, 517 GP. Room plate body, just under 200k now. A bond is now 110 mil. Like, we thought hitting 100 mil was pretty game-breaking. Now it's 110. It's jumped 9.9 mil. I think I'm going to make a video about this because, like, for your average player now and free to play who's going to sort of play the game to earn its GP, how do you get a bond? So maybe that could be our next big challenge. I did want to do another series for one year since we did the um, Prime Membership series. Maybe we escape free to play just through gameplay. So maybe that could be the next thing. Again, let me know. Acronium Bar, 8.7k. War Tortoise Pouch, 25.2. Maybe worth looking at the shells, see if they're worthwhile doing. Alteration Necklace, 1.7 mil, and a Greater Ghostly Ink, 8.9k. Decorated Woodcutting Urn, 8.3k. Spirit Rune, 200 GP each. Definitely worth looking at for some runecrafting. Dinosaur Propellant, 882 GP each. I imagine these will go up because of how good fletching headless Dino Arrows are. Something definitely worthwhile to look into. Bronze Bars, 2.2k. Again, really good free-to-play money-making method. Magic Shortbow, 1.6k each. Probably getting to the point now where they're going to be profit to fletch. So maybe something to look into. Again, it won't be mega money, but it's nice to have any form of money anyway. Extra Fine Sand, 12k. Again, you'll have ways to make profit with this. Making the sand, blessing the sand, or whatever. Subjugation, 4.4 mil. Again, a little bit cheap, but the fact it's going up, always a positive. Raw Belt Fish, 677 GP each. Diamond Ring, just over 4k, and again, there'll be money in that as well. 
Free to play does seem to have these very niche money making methods at the minute, which do seem to be uh, quite good. We've actually managed to fly through the price rises this week because, again, I think there's only a few real standout stuff. Again, subjugation's gone up, that's pretty good. A couple of urns going up as well, which is nice. Necromancy runes also. Necronium bars, Warlord's Dispatch, pretty decent money makers there, as is Papyrus. Should have a video about Papyrus out by now. A bond is kind of the big hitter here. A bond being 110 mil is a lot of GP. And it's going to be a bit of a challenge to make that kind of GP in free-to-play, which maybe that's what we're going to do. Let me know what you think and let me know if you want to see it and uh, we can definitely do it on the channel as well. So, price falls. Exoplasm, now down to 2.3k, having the desired effect of bringing the price down and also the stock up. But how long it'll be a decent money maker for, we shall see. Mimic Helm, 23.1k. A Ghost Impling Jar is 356k. Mystic Cloth, 19.8. A Vorkaf Spike is 5.6 mil. Never really took off the Vorkaf Spike. And to be fair, Vorkaf is a boss I don't think ever really took off either. A Gem Cape Token for the actual cape is 96.5 mil. Astral Runes now 703 GP each. Sorrow Brew is 7.6. Golden Roses is 994k each. And a Silver Bar is 2.5k. Bucket of Milk 572 GP each. And a Normal Plank is 580. Armadillo Chain Skirt Helm Gloves on their way down. Again, with the Armadillo pieces, very similar to Subjugation, but maybe not quite to the extreme. They will follow a trend and they'll all sort of follow each other in terms of their price. Zamorak, you know what, is 357k. Again, possibly cheap Zamorak components as well. And a codex of lost knowledge is 58.4. Arrow shaft is 38 GP each. We have black bolts at 144. And also armadillo chest plate, buckler, and boots on the way down. Armadillo really taking a pound in this week. And a Saradomin brew flask is 33k. A curse dash is 204 GP each. Jaws of the Abyss is now absolutely at the floor. 343k. And a scripture of jazz, something which on the release of Necromancy went through the roof, is now 25.3 mil. And the rune bar, the rune bar really sort of had an increase last week and that's gone down to 5.6k. Molten Glass, 761 GP each. You'll have a decent money maker there with bomb vials because of the bonus XP weekend. People like to do um, the Vaughn Bombs for profit and XP as well, so it could be a really good thing to make those ready for that. Amulets of Glory, 13.2k uh, for Water Orb on the way down as well. Serenic Scale, 18.5k each, that's a bit mad. And the Appraisal Codex is now 732.8 mil. Regular Ghostly Ink, unlike the other two, is now 6.3k. A Willow Frame, 40.2. Bit high for a Willow, but it's understandable because I imagine it would be very niche. Manuscripts is a WEN, 182k each, pretty cheap. And if you do use the WEN book, probably be a good time to stock up because it just needs one update or one reason and it will go back up because of it as well. Mythical Grapple, 8k each. And again, free to play, maybe a decent moneymaker if you can do them there. Not sure if you can, but it could be an option. Cook Selfish, 2.1k each. Cinder Bane's on the way down still, 64.6. Zaros God Sword, 250ml. Prayer Potions, 6k each. And the Divine Charges at 99.1. Now, price rises. Again, nothing spectacular and nothing really related to bonus XP. A lot of these items have been here for a couple of weeks now and they're just still on the way here. But still things like a Teleporter House Tab is 8.3k. That is mental how expensive things like that are. But I think it's just balancing. A lot of items at the minute have only gone down because they've gone up so much as well. Things like Armadillo pieces. Again, Armadillo's getting absolutely hammered this week in the price falls, but... It's just leveling out what the price people are willing to pay for components and stuff, which if demand goes down, so does the price. It's just like how things are in the, in the game anyway. But pretty decent. I'd say price rises are definitely better this week. There are some methods around there which will be pretty decent for profit. Papayas, again, bonus XP might go even higher than what they are. But that bond price, I think, should be really the, the title of the episode and the main point of the episode is that the bond just doesn't seem to be stopping. 110 mil for a bond is pretty huge. And... If you think even like in some forms of member accounts, like to get 110 mil in 14 days, that's pretty, uh, that's a pretty big ask. When I did the bond account, I think I paid something like 75 and even then it's points, it was a bit hit and miss. But 110 mil is a lot of GP, so maybe that could be the new series we do. Let me know in the comments again if you think that is what's, what you'd like to see. Finally, to finish the episode off like we always do every single week in the hope that I can actually claw back some money and uh, not be so broke on the game. Dragon Bones are 2,025 GP each. Again, nothing major for this week. It's just sort of finding its price out. It would never quite hit the price of like a couple of months ago where uh, I really should have cashed out and moved up in terms of upgrading to the bones. But that's why I keep an eye on prices. If something looks cheap, you can always upgrade for a cheaper price. 
But that's going to be the end of this video. If you've enjoyed, please make sure to leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.